Hey everyone, it's Natalie from This and Nat, or all of This and Nat over on Instagram. I'm a wife and dog mom living just outside of Dallas, Texas. Today I'm sharing my most used kitchen cleaners that you can make from ingredients that you have in your house right now. We're making two multi-purpose sprays, a sink scrub, and a cabinet cleaner. Plus, I'm showing you how I use each one. So scrounge up your baking soda and let's get to work. Hey everyone, I am so excited to share with you my four favorite kitchen homemade cleaners today. So a lot of the times when you venture into making your own cleaners, it can seem really overwhelming because there are like odd ingredients that you need to get. But these cleaners that I use every single day in my kitchen are not like that. They are super, super easy and they use things that you probably already have in your kitchen and your medicine cabinets. We have rubbing alcohol, baking soda, dish soap, and then vinegar. I'm gonna show you how to make these four homemade cleaners today super, super easy, and I will have everything that I use linked down below if you want to go grab the similar bottles and towels and everything that I use. The only other ingredient we need is water, so if you are ready, let's get started. Before we get started, I want to share with you the adorable bottle labels and recipe cards that Anne from Stationery has custom made for us. The pack includes all four recipes that I'm showing you here today and is available as an instant download in her Etsy shop. Just print the labels on regular paper, cut them out, and tape them to your bottles. I like to use plenty of tape to keep the moisture out. I'll have Anne's shop as well as the bottles and cloths that I'm using linked down below. The first recipe that I'm gonna show you is my most used granite spray. I use this multiple times throughout the day to wipe down our granite countertops. Now you can use this as a multi-purpose spray, but it's perfect for any stone countertops because it doesn't include vinegar, which can etch stone. For the granite spray, you will need rubbing alcohol, a measuring cup, a spray bottle, and water. Essential oil is optional for smell, though some oils do have cleaning properties too. First, measure out a half cup of rubbing alcohol. I've read that 70% is better than 90% alcohol for cleaning purposes. Then pour the alcohol into a spray bottle. A funnel might be helpful here. Next, measure one and a half cups of water. I just use cold tap water since I use up these sprays so quickly, but distilled water may be a better option if you have some. This should fill up the 16 ounce bottle nearly to the top. Truly, alcohol and water is all you need to clean your counters, but I like to add some essential oil for a nice scent. Citrus or lemon is great for the kitchen, and lavender and tea tree have antibacterial properties. But I'm just trying to use up some of the oils that I have right now before purchasing new ones. When I used to volunteer in the emergency room, we used diluted alcohol to clean the children's toys. So I definitely trust it to clean my kitchen counters. When spraying the counter, leave the spray sitting for at least 10 seconds before wiping it away to ensure that the alcohol has had time to kill germs. And never spray this near an open flame as alcohol is highly flammable. Even though I did my nightly tidy last night and cleaned things up, it appears that I missed a spot over there. So let me show you how that Alcohol granite cleaner can also be used on the backsplash of your kitchen to get rid of stains. Mm -hmm. 
Next, we're going to make a stainless steel spray. This is technically a multi-purpose spray too, and great for most surfaces. But since I don't want to risk using vinegar on my granite countertops, I use this mostly for stainless steel appliances. For the stainless steel spray, you will need vinegar, a spray bottle, a measuring cup and funnel, and water. Essential oil is again optional. To make the spray, measure a half a cup of vinegar and pour it into an empty bottle. Then measure one and a half cups of water and add it to the bottle. Add eight to 10 drops of oil if desired and shake. If you hate the vinegar smell, I find that peppermint oil covers it best. So those first two cleaners are the ones that I literally use every single day. I use the granite one for my countertops the most, and then I use the vinegar one mostly on stainless steel, but it is a good multi-purpose cleaner too. But I wanted to show you how good that that vinegar cleaner is at getting stains off of stainless steel. So my refrigerator, let me bring you down here. I don't know if you can see, but there is always like water stains because of the water um, dispenser here. So like as much as we try, it always has like a drip drip after we get water. So there's just like water all the time down here. So I'm gonna show you how well this vinegar cleaner does to get these stains off. We use microfiber cloths to clean around our house. They're cheap and much more effective than paper towels. I'll link the pack that we bought from Amazon down below. I use this vinegar cleaner to wipe down the refrigerator handles, our stove top, our dishwasher, our microwave, and more. Now, I didn't do this intentionally, but it did work out quite well. I left a metal pan in the sink soaking overnight and I forgot that that would make my sink rust. So now I have this rust stain, which is annoying. However, I get to show you how to get rid of it naturally. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first before making up my sink scrub because this needs to sit for a few minutes. If you have any bad stains, wet your sink with water and then sprinkle baking soda on the stains. The baking soda needs to sit for 15 to 30 minutes to remove stains like this rust one. While our baking soda is working to remove this stain, let's talk about the sink scrub. For this cleaner, you will need dish soap, baking soda, essential oil if desired, a scrub sponge, and water. I bought this 15 pound bag of baking soda at Sam's Club for less than $8. Then I pour the baking soda into these cheese shakers to make it easy to sprinkle onto anything from sinks and dishes and even more. Usually I will do this over the sink since it makes a huge mess. We've let the baking soda sit on the stain for about 15 minutes, so let's finish cleaning the sink. First, wet the sink with water so that the baking soda will stick. Then sprinkle the side and the base of the sink with baking soda. Next, squirt some dish soap into the sink. I like to do two squirts per side. Then if you want to, add two drops of essential oil per side. Again, I'm just doing this for the nice smell and to use up oils. Now it's time to scrub. I use a nylon sponge, but you can use any kind of scrubbing device like a brush or the rougher side of a sponge. Make sure that the sponge is wet and scrub, 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 mixing the baking soda and dish soap together as you do. The baking soda will form a sort of paste and turn darker as it scrubs off gunk. Thank you. 
Then rinse everything with water to reveal a nice, shiny sink. I like to scrub my sink a few times a week. And that rust stain is all gone. Our final cleaner is the gentle but powerful cabinet cleaner. You will need dish soap, a bowl, a cloth, and water. First, fill a small bowl with hot water. Then, add two squirts of dish soap to the water and swirl to mix. We don't want it to get too sudsy. Then, simply dip the corner of a cloth into soapy water and wipe down your cabinets. This solution is going to get rid of greasy handprints and stuck on food quite effectively. Wiping down the cabinets is something that I do about once a month. this one behind the trash can. The light is making it really hard to see, but it is so messy. So let's get this one cleaned up and then we'll be done. You will never regret the things that we'll do. you enjoyed those recipes for easy natural homemade cleaners and maybe there's one that you are ready to try if you try any of these recipes let me know tag me on instagram i would love to see how they are working for you my suggestion would be to try the sink scrub first because it's just so satisfying <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye